The coefficient of variation of a sample is the sample standard deviation divided by the sample mean. That's the coefficient of variation, or CV. For a population, it's similar, but the notation is just different. The standard deviation is written as a sigma, and the mean is written with a mu. Either way, the coefficient of variation is standard deviation divided by the mean. It's also often reported as a percentage, so sometimes you'll see the formula given with a multiplication by 100% just to convert it into a percent. For example, let's say we had a data sample consisting of 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then, if this is a sample, the standard deviation is 1.291, and the mean is 2.5. Thus, the coefficient of variation, the standard deviation, divided by the mean, is about 0.516, or 51.6%. If we did the same calculation, but for a population, suppose this was the whole population, then the standard deviation would be 1.118, because remember, a sample standard deviation is calculated slightly differently from a population standard deviation. But the population standard deviation would be 1.118, the mean would still be 2.5, and then the coefficient of variation would, again, be the standard deviation, divided by the mean, which is about 0.447, or 44.7%. The coefficient of variation is a measure of variability that's particularly useful for comparing variability between groups with very different means or measures of different units. For example, if you were trying to compare variabilities of tuitions between public schools and Ivy League schools, you might want to use the coefficient of variation because the means for those groups would be quite different. Or if you were trying to compare something between two different currencies, the units would be different. And so to compare variability, the coefficient of variation could be useful. Here's a made up example. Suppose we want to compare the variability of spending between low-income and high-income households. Here's a table. Say the mean of low-income household spending is 30,000 and the standard deviation is 10,000. The mean and standard deviation of the high-income households is a lot bigger. As you would expect, the standard deviation is a lot bigger because the amounts of money here are just a lot bigger. It doesn't really make sense, though, to say that the variability in the spending of high-income households is way bigger than the variability of spending in low-income households just by comparing their standard deviations. Because the variation in one context is different from the variation in the other context. So if we calculate the coefficient of variation, that can give us a better comparison because the coefficient of variation is unitless. And so it is a fair comparison, even though the means are very different. In this case, the coefficient of variation in spending for low income households is standard deviation divided by the mean. It's about 0.333 or 33%. And the coefficient of variation for spending in high-income households is standard deviation divided by the mean. It's about 0.288 or 28.8%. Once again, this is a made-up example, but in this example, we see that the low-income households really have a greater variability in spending than the high-income households once we take into account the different means by using the coefficient of variation.